Thanks for tuning in to S. Baker Media Group TV. I'm your host, Mecca Global. We out here in Queens, out here with Graf. You know who this what's is. What's up, what's up, what's up? You already know what's going down live in the back. I go by the name of Graf, I'm talking about. And, uh, we just want to win, goddammit. <laughs> we want to finish out the title belt, man. I'm going to be in the ring with that shit like this. I'm talking about. You know when, it, when, it, when they ring the bell, got the little chicks come out holding the number cards. Keep that bitch, give me the money, man. We just want to win. Now, I can run down some labels, like, you know what I mean? Like, Sony, uh -huh. Rockefeller, the E1 Koch, like, the whole situation. First of all, shout out to Black Hand Entertainment all day. Okay. But explain to these people how, who think, once you get in this business, it's easy, who don't understand the politics. I'll tell you the real shit, man. Once you get a deal, that's the hardest part. Getting a deal, of course, it is hard to accomplish any goal you set, because if it was that easy, you shouldn't even set it. <laughs> but, um, once you get the deal... The battle just begins. That's when all the bullshit starts and everything. The industry is full of shit. It's 90% business, 10% music. Nobody gives a fuck about hit record. Hit records are just you pay for it. It doesn't matter. It's not about it's not about being hot as it should be. Talent doesn't really matter as you see. You watch the America America Adelaide Day. All the motherfuckers can sing. So what? Doesn't really matter. So once you get in the door. That's when the battle starts. You gotta put them gloves on and fight. You be fighting execs from the minute you hit the door, the minute they kick your ass out if you don't make it to the top. So, uh, get ready. Quit uh -huh. now. Let's talk about that street album, Autograph. Talk oh, yeah, that's good money. Autograph was um, the, uh, the album I recorded back in the days. Um, classic. Yeah, it was a classic. Thank you, man. Um, mm -hmm. I'm glad it got revered as a classic because that was a, um, a big part, portion of my life. Like, your first album to me. It's basically your whole life from uh, childhood until you release that album. Everything you make after that is recaps and new experiences and shit like that. So that album was basically most of the shit I experienced from, let's say, high school. Most of things that made me who I am now, you know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of personal jewels I dropped in that joint. But it was an album that, that wasn't ever released on a mainstream level. Uh, just through the politics and all the hardships and the unfortunate events that happened. With me in the industry, different deals, changing homes, Sony, Rockefeller, yada yada, yada all that crap. So I changed a lot of labels during the course of my travels, just based on a lot of bullshit. Things out of my control, you know what I'm saying? Like Sony didn't understand my vision. Rockefeller, it fell apart when Dame and Jay got into the little situation. And um, I just happened to be caught in the middle of that, just because, just timing, you know what I'm saying? That nothing personal, just bad timing, wrong place, wrong time. Shout out to Dame Dash, he a real nigga. On top of that, he did a lot of. He's a real nigga, that's what I say to recap it. Like, he's not in the street, like y'all might think, but yeah, a lot of people got crap to say about that man, but son is 100% official. It's coming out of my mouth all day, son is official. Um, he definitely gave us opportunity to win and uh, get a pocket with them. And, you know, I was on a reality show, Ultima House, letting you different BT, all types of venues that, all, whatever he had available to, um, to, to extend his arm, what he did. So, that, that dude is 100% real. But um, just a lot of unfortunate events, man. Politics stopped that album from hitting the shelf. So we just leaked the motherfucker to the internet. You know what I'm saying? We leaked some of the tracks and the rest of them went. And we just, we put it out. Because I was dying for people to hear it as bad as they wanted to hear it. Like, I don't make they music. They wanted it. I don't make music for the shit to be sitting on my mm -hmm. on my desktop. I want to get it out. You know what I'm saying? So That's your main objective as an artist. To you get just want to be music. heard. Period. As an artist, you just want to be heard. Yeah. Everything else comes after. The money, the cause, whatever y'all want to say, comes after that. You just want to be heard. Yeah. You don't want to be hot in your bedroom, man. You trying to be heard. You know what I'm saying? So I gave it to y'all. Y'all said it was a classic. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Every download. I didn't sell it. None of that. I gave Actually comment on that freestyle. Because he picked it up. For example, like the other day I was watching Grab freestyle over um, success. But I mean, that, sh that to me was so like mind blowing because that's something I, I truly can't do. You know, I'm a writer, you know. And, and yeah, I, I, I have a great memory, but I have the time to memorize what I write. But at the end of the day, like, to freestyle, like, I can freestyle on every night when I be on stage. I'll freestyle, you know. Four or eight bars, and I can, like he went on for like three minutes. It was right. astounding to me. Right. I hit him up. I was like, "Yo, that was remarkable." I, I commend you because it's truly something I can't do. You know what I'm saying? I rap like a gat, and when I rap, they sit a pound, hold ten though. Your brain's a computer, I put the gauge, the immadule, and it down low info. Hard job crashing all around your tempo, through the glass all around your windows. This the, it's the Mr. Info. Follow your home, tell it, follow your own Twitter. Yeah, he did. That was, um, that was monumental, man. Shout out to Drake. I think he was the, he's one of the realest dudes I ever came across in this business, period. Because most dudes.
able to not they show don't. any type of humility and give anybody else props. But it's they high are. caliber yeah. artists. Drake, Raekwon, Bun B, Jim Jones, Busta Rhymes, Speak all, Highly. All of it is love. All of it is love because they don't have to do that. That's just from their heart and they real niggas. And I, I tip my hat to them brothers. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate it. It's, it feels good to get recognized. respected and recognized by your peers. And those are guys that I look up to. Those are guys that I wanted to work with. You know what I'm saying? So for them to give me credit, it's like, wow. That's what's up. Because I've heard other artists that might give me credit behind closed doors. You run that camera. Like, so what are you listening to? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. They won't say it in public. Yeah. You know and what I'm saying? So that's, yeah. I that, that shit is a big deal to me. Like, Drake did that. I was like, wow. I probably, I was up. <laughs> he had my phone like, it was like 5.30 in the morning. He said, that was amazing. I was, I was like, oh shit. I was blown. I was like, that's, that's a real dude right there. That's Honest. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. That's I learned something from the man right there. So you know what? I'm gonna take that route and be honest all the time. You have to. Some be. people don't like honesty. Nah. Like, that's why I tell other people all the time. Don't ask my opinion. If you can't, if you can't accept the real honest. Yeah. Answer. Don't ask for that shit because I learned to just be honest with you. Nice, and you don't get mad at me. I tell you shit sucks. I talk harsh. Reality hurts. What the fuck you want yeah, from me? You sucks, dog. <laughs> just fucking sucks, dog. You be wild on that Twitter. <laughs> saying, I see you. On Twitter, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I was bigging up the Jamaicans today, man. Hey, eight days they make a new dance. Hey, nine days, another nigga make a song about it. <laughs> I'm Jamaican, by the way. I know. But anyway. They don't um, know that, though. They be thinking I'm dissing Jamaican. Nah, that's... I diss every motherfucking body. Every culture got funny <laughs> ways about them, man. Everybody's fucked up. Grab. Forgive me. Grab. All right, also another title. Somebody calls you the Black Eminem Lyrical. Heard that. That's good. That's a compliment. I'm a fan <laughs> of that dude. I think that dude is incredible. I think if he ain't the best, he's the second one. or He's up, he up there. He up there top top three, top four, if not the number one. The son is he gets mega busy. So it's a definitely a compliment and honor to be compared to that dude. New record with New Record with Lock, Locker Flocker man called Knock Him Down. Shout out to that boy Locker Flocker, Brick Squad, Mr. Entertainment, Deb. Everybody over there on that whole team, man. They show a lot of love. A lot, a lot of love, you know what I'm saying? So um he bodied the song, killed the video, shit and shot. I thought man Theo stood go for shooting the video. Mr. Canada the director extraordinaire. Crazy, crazy, crazy. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to the producer on that too. K.E. on the beats. K.E. on the tracks, pardon me. He made swag surfing. He made um, all the way turned up. Son is official, super duper flyer. So that joint just came together real beautiful and lovely. And I think it's a, it's a banger. Hopefully you play it real loud and cracks my head open with Hennessy by the sun because it gives you that type of gentleman rush I'm talking about. So, Tell the officer ain't my fault, man. I just made some. From which artist? Like, you said some lines. You was like, damn, I have to be wrong. Besides yourself lyrically. Yeah, I like that graph guy. He, he, yeah, he's saying some shit. <laughs> now, I like a lot of lines, man. Um, you'd be amazed some of the lines that I take to the most. Some, some of the lines I take to the most are, are less metaphoric. They're just simple. Like, I know one line in particular from Jay-Z said, learn how to move in the room full of vultures. Mad simple, but it's so true. We learn how to move in a room full of vultures. You know what I'm saying? You got to know how to move. So the line, you might have missed it if you ain't street. You don't come from where we come from, but it meant a lot to me. I was like, I feel you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be simple lines like that that I um that I like. So I can't remember too many, but a lot of them hit me, you know, like Snoop Dogg. Say bitches ain't shit. I say, you right, nigga. They ain't. Niggas ain't shit either. <laughs> they ain't shit either. Niggas but, ain't shit. But nobody either. said in the record. Exactly. So well, you ain't asked me that. Video, niggas ain't shit now. <laughs> nah, they ain't nah. shit. I'll tell you that. But Snoop said that shit. I said, you know what? I think you got a point there, Snoop. <laughs> What are some producers who um, you would like to work with moving forward also? What other producers? Oh, man. Um, there's a lot. Uh, Dr. Dre would be an honor. I think Son is super dope. Uh, Neptunes. I think Pharrell and Chad is incredible. Bananas. Yeah, them dudes is crazy. Um, you know what I like now, too? The kid Lex Luger. He's doing his thing. Yeah. I like his son with that boy. He's a beast. Um, of course, he won't fuck with that's my man Max Wayne, by the way. Get that man on camera. Show him. That's my man. That's my, that's my brethren, as the Jamaicans say. And, um, me and him run this whole company together. This team bank thing we got going on. Black Hand is the family, first and that's foremost. Right. Team Bang is our own personal. Uh, for the moment. Chaz. Chaz the big homie, man. Chaz is like a father figure to us all on like a, even like a personal life level, especially for me, man. He dropped so many jewels. Yes. That's a big homie, though. It goes way beyond music with that dude. But he's also super super intelligent man yeah. dudes don't understand they might just see american gangsta he robbed yeah. 60 banks be, yeah. yeah but but that man could sit down and write a record deal yeah. a contract read it yeah. read one out negotiate with it write one for you and yeah. go get you a deal in his yes. like he could write out the deal like that man is 
yeah. super intelligent. You can't, you can't, you gotta understand what you're looking at when you see the big homie. It ain't yeah. just. Yeah. He's what America fears. A street nigga with a brain. That, you know what yes. I'm trying to say? Say that again, please. He's what America fears. He's a street dude with intelligence. That's the worst combination you could ever have. Mm -hmm. Because that man can rob over 60 banks in under 60 <laughs> seconds up, and write a record deal <laughs> in the same day. <laughs> Word, nigga. Yo, shout out to Big Big, you know what shout I'm out to Chad. <laughs> but anyway, what other artists like you want to work with? Other lyrical talents? Rap, artists? rap, rap, rap. I'm sorry. Um, other talented artists. You, you know what's so funny, man? I like my what I like expands across different genres, man. I like so many different types of individuals, music wise. Like I like Lady Gaga. I love to do a record with her. I like. Um, but not gonna put together shit. Like I would like to be in the studio with her and see. Not just email the me the verse. Goes. Yeah, none of that. I'm sure she'll be being like, I need incense. Stop. I wanna feel the ambiance of the room. <laughs> I want to witness that shit. I want to be a part of that. I need a meat suit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but she's dope though. Like you know what I'm saying, anybody come to red carpet, a motherfucker eats the egg. <laughs> That's something you gotta sign up immediately. You know what I'm saying? I want to do a record with Charlie Sheen. Ooh. Shit, oh God! I'm a the madman, I'm but no, uh, but I like what Lady Gaga does. with some real shit. I like um, what about the Bob's female? Cartel? Oh, I think wow. he's crack, super dope. Nicki Minaj, female. Queens in the house. She kicking ass. Female. She hold on against Drake and Wayne. That's incredible to me. I think she's she's a, she's a badass right now. Elaborate on that. What do you what do you what's your take or your opinion or your views on the females in this industry and what's um, unfortunately, not that many. I mean, I think the, the female perspective and point of view is missing from the game. You don't have a lot. You don't have a lot of females speaking upon what y'all go through, what y'all experience every day. And it's um, it's pretty fucked up. We actually looking for a female artist, somebody dope, somebody new, somebody fresh, somebody sexy. You gotta be willing. For me, I, I want to see it all. I want to see the total package. Okay, you can rap cool. You gotta look like. Niggas, I want to fuck you. You gotta sound dope. You gotta be. Talk to them. Oh, I can't say that, right? <laughs> you can talk to them. You gotta be sexy, man. We selling sex in this motherfucker. This is our show. Women watching right now, you I get naked at the drop of a dime. We selling <laughs> sex in this bitch. Please understand what this is. It's business. Take that shit off, baby. It's cleavage, <laughs> low wage, fat ass. Get to it. Get the money, man. Put you on the track, studio booth, whatever. Get to the money. So, the holler at Max Wayne. He do paperwork. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> Big homie Chaz, gonna write the deal. <laughs> <laughs> Big homie Chad's gonna make the deal. Oh you know what I'm saying? We ain't moving. He engineer move. too. Nigga do it all, I man. Sure. Yeah, My yeah, man double yes. ammo for the move. video. <laughs> I gotta interview them and make Word. sure they're official. All that. We need all, all that. that. And you gotta have a brand. You gotta have your own opinion. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all women got their own no opinion. Yes you know? No yes men. No yes men. No yes men. go, but you know, for no real. No yes men. Yeah. But I'm so afraid. <laughs> what the, the nut. But listen, what songs, what songs um, inspired you? Like, what do you write to? Like, what's many different things, man. I could be driving to see a, a, a fucking car accident on the side of the road and see a baby seat in the car. And I'll have a whole record because I'm feel something. Or I could be driving to an accident and be mad that everybody's throwing down to watch that shit and be like, man, be grateful that it ain't you and get the fuck out of my way because I got shit to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or I could just see what's going on in the hood. I could see somebody begging for bread. I could see somebody hustling. I could see. I go home kiss my mother, see my kids. I got twins, boy and girl. Everything inspires me. I get inspiration from everywhere. I'm literally, I'm literally like a sponge, like one of these shits on the wall. I just soak shit up all day. You know what I'm saying? I'm with my niggas. Ideas come. He gave me good ideas all day. I'm proud Fucking of you, Chaz. Let's, I literally draw inspiration from everywhere. Like I just know one place. When I'm on my cool out shit. I listen to Enigma. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my rowdy shit. I want to hear MOP. Old school hip hop, Biggie, Tupac, I wanna get on my militant shit. I like Dead Press, I like all types of shit. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like just uh, just a vacuum, soaking whatever. Just, Far from that. Exactly. Some people might think that because they might only hear my mixtape shit and be like, oh you do is talk about this and that. Just glorifying the mm -hmm. the, the, the gangster shit. No, that's what we see because it's fucked up out here. We ain't rich yet. You know what I'm saying? This was a gift. Don't get it confused. <laughs> I'm working. I might pawn it one day. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> around. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, God. what other projects you got coming along? What else should they be looking out for? Graph. Well, the main thing I want y'all to focus on right now is graphonline.com. Just go to the site, be introduced to what I got to offer, man. I got a lot of videos, music, dope shit up there. Graphonline.com, 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 graphonline.com. Graphonline.com. Get on the website one more time. Graphonline.com. Did I mention they should go to graphonline.com? I should go go to graphonline.com. Check out what's going on on graphonline.com. Go to the website. Check out what's going on. 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 Check out what's going
supposed to shit's happening on that one. Like, uh, and follow me on Twitter too, because I pop mega shit, as you can tell. And I back it up, bitches, in the fucking world. No matter what piece of soil you put your feet on, somebody there might know my name. There's no country on the planet that you can go to where nobody on that piece of land heard of the name Graf. Once he heard my name, I copied something great, so all of those is pieces of me. Come on, nigga. Them shoes like a bomb, nigga.